Can drones record audio? Drones can indeed record audio if a microphone is attached. So I decided to strap my DJI mic to my Mini 3 Pro. I recently obtained the DJI mic kit, a wireless kit from DJI that should ensure clear and crisp audio up to 250 meters. The purpose of this kit is to have two microphones that wirelessly transmit the audio signal back to the receiver where the audio is being recorded, whether it's a tablet, it's a phone, on a camera or maybe a DJI product. So one of you asked, how does it actually sound when you're doing screen recordings with the DJI RC? And this is what you're hearing right now. The setup is very easy. You just plug the receiver into the bottom of, a, yes, into the host port of the DJI RC, and then you have wireless transmission from the transmitter that is activated. And because we have two transmitters and we only need one, so why not strap one of them onto the drone and test the maximum distance of 250 meters? This will, at the same time, answer another frequently asked question, why drones are not recording audio. So I'm using a nice Velcro strip here around the belly of the drone, where I will attach the transmitter, and I will remove the magnet that is on the back side of uh, the transmitter, so it doesn't interfere with the drone. It's a pretty strong magnet, so you better take this one off. We have attached the transmitter facing the wind muff towards the back of the drone to minimize wind noise. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> so now I just turned it on. We can check through the receiver in the display that we are receiving audio from both transmitters. And I can see that the left channel is the drone. And not to distort the audio completely when flying around with this, I've decided to turn down the audio to minus eight dBA. There's this nice touch display that will allow me to go in and mess around with the settings here. The transmitter weighs only 30 grams, so it shouldn't be a real problem for uh, the drone to actually fly with it. But it does bring the total weight of the drone above 250 grams, which is something that needs to be taken into consideration. I've been asked since presenting the system on the channel, why do you need such an expensive system to uh, do screen recordings? I would not buy this for this job alone, as a regular USB mic would do the job quite fine. However, it does provide some sort of freedom when I'm out recording videos for you guys. <laughs> Let's put the 250 meters separation into test. So, now the drone is airborne. Keep in mind, this is a line of sight and it will probably be shorter with signal interference between the remote and the drone. We are located at an altitude of 30 meters and around uh, 50 meters away. So let's uh, fly out to 250 meters and see when we start to see breakups. So we are flying, we are flying. And this is of course uh, with the yeah, pure line of sight that we will get 250 meters. And I have no way of verifying uh, when the connection is actually breaking up. But now we passed the maximum distance. And uh, even though you can hear that uh, recording audio from a drone is a really, really bad idea, we can still use the noise from the drone to determine when we are getting a breakup. But you know what? Regardless if we are experiencing breakup, we still have audio when we are back home because the transmitter can act as a standalone recorder and I turned on the recording like I've done with this one before I took off. And I will of course write here on the screen when we are losing connection. And now we are flying the other way. So let's just see if that makes a difference. I will let you judge that and put comments on the video when uh, I brought the drone back. But we uh, brought it way beyond the maximum uh, range that was listed on the tin. So let's get the drone back. It's better to see it. I just push down the throttle. Then I simply just let the drone land very softly and everything is nice. Safe back on the ground, very undramatic. So as you can see, the red light on the drone is on, meaning that it has uh, done its own standalone recording. From the audio recording, you can hear why it's actually not a good idea to record audio from drones. In most videos, the audio is faked and added in post-production. And now you have the proof. With that being said, the DJI mic is a super cool system that will offer me a lot of freedom 
in my productions when I'm out recording. And you know what? Before I went out recording, I actually saw it's possible to buy a dimmed down version so you don't buy two transmitters if you really don't need it. You can buy the transmitter and the receiver as a single pair. I think the price is around 200 US dollars. That's significantly cheaper than the full solution that is around 339 US dollars as far as I recall. It's not perfect, so there's still a few things that DJI needs to iron out. So make sure to check out the DJI forum or any other places where you're getting your information to make sure before you purchase. But I like it, I like the flexibility it offers and it's really good for my needs. And that's easy for me to say because I didn't pay for it. It's actually DJI that decided to send me this kit to play around with. But with that said, the audio has not been modified by any means in post-production, apart from adjusting the levels for it to be uniform. In this way, you can make up your mind and decide if this is something for you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.